What if I told you that right now, there's a hidden gold mine on YouTube that's exploding faster than almost any other niche. Every single day, brand new channels are being created, and within just a month or two, they're growing at rocket speed. And no, I'm not talking about gaming or tech. I'm talking about self-improvement, one of the fastest growing spaces on YouTube. But here's the twist. Inside this booming niche, there's another treasure waiting to be unlocked. A niche so powerful that it has the potential to grow even bigger, the fitness niche. Now, five years ago, creating content here wasn't easy. You had to show your face, record workouts, and spend hours shooting videos. But today, the game has completely changed. Thanks to AI and animation tools, you can now build an entire channel without ever showing your face. That's exactly what channels like Captain Workout are doing. This channel uploaded only 37 videos, and out of those, just seven were long videos. The rest? Simple shorts, repurposed from the same content. And with this strategy, they exploded to over 22,000 subscribers in just two months. Imagine that, thousands of people following, watching, and sharing, all from a handful of videos. And here's the craziest part. Captain Workout isn't even original. They copied another creator, Yellow Dude. And guess what? Yellow Dude has only 86 videos, but already smashed through 1.1 million subscribers. Yes, over a million fans, with less than 100 uploads. So the truth is, copying isn't a bad thing here. It's the actual strategy. Everyone is borrowing from each other, but the ones who stand out are the ones who brand their characters differently. So the real question is, are you going to sit back and just watch others grow? Or are you ready to step into this goldmine niche and start building your own channel right now? Let's get started. Step number one. To make things simple for you, I've already created a Google Doc that includes everything you'll need, your character prompt, the master script prompt, and a list of 100 topic ideas. This will help you easily create viral scripts and character visuals for your videos. For now, we'll focus only on generating the script. We'll handle the character generation part later in the video. First, copy the master template prompt exactly as I do. Select all the text up to the section where the topic ideas begin and copy it. Now, open ChatGPT and paste it directly into the prompt box. Before clicking Generate, scroll down a little. You'll notice a line that says, insert your topic here. Now, go back to the Google Doc and browse through the list of 100 topic ideas. Pick one that catches your interest. For example, I'll use the very first idea. Copy it, then go back to ChatGPT and replace the text that says, insert your topic here with your chosen topic. Once that's done, click Generate. ChatGPT will understand the master template and automatically create a short, ready-to-use script for you. Step number two. Now that your script is ready, it's time to turn it into a voiceover. Open DubDub in your browser. You'll also find the link to the website in the video description. Once the site loads, click on Products, then select Text to Speech, and choose Get Started for Free. You'll be taken to a new interface with a script box. Go back to ChatGPT, copy your script, and paste it into the DubDub script box. Next, tidy up your text by removing any unnecessary labels like Tip 1 or Tip 2. Once your text looks clean, look to the right side of the screen. There you'll find the voiceover options. Click on it to explore different AI voice styles. Make sure to set the language to English, then choose the gender, style, and age that best match your character's personality or tone. You'll see a variety of AI voiceovers available. Take a moment to listen to a few and pick the one that sounds right for your video. Once you've selected your preferred voice, click Export and save your voiceover as an MP3 file. Step number three. Now, let's create a brand new character for our videos. Go back to the Google Doc and copy the character prompt from there. Next, open ChatGPT and start a new chat. 
Paste the character prompt you just copied into the prompt box. In the prompt, you'll notice two sections labeled. Insert your color here. In the first one, type dark violet, and in the second, simply type violet. Before clicking generate, add one small line at the very beginning of the prompt, type. Save this character with you and name the character as Leo. Now, click Generate. ChatGPT will automatically save the full character description for you. Once the character is saved, let's test how it appears in an image. To do that, type a short sentence like Leo is walking and click Generate. ChatGPT will instantly create a detailed image prompt showing your character in action. Now that the image prompt is ready, it's time to bring your character to life. For this, we'll use Google Studio AI, a powerful tool for turning these prompts into stunning visuals. Step number four, open Google and search for Google Studio AI. Click on the very first website that appears in the search results. Once the page loads, you'll see an option called Nano Banana AI, click on it. Now, go back to ChatGPT, Copy the image prompt you generated earlier and paste it into the Nano Banana AI prompt box. Click Generate and wait a few seconds. And there it is, the first image of our character. This step is just to give you a quick visual preview of how your character will appear in images. Next, let's move on to the main part, creating visuals that match the script we generated earlier. Go back to the previous ChatGPT chat where you created the script. As we go through it, We'll need several images showing our character performing different biceps exercises, as well as one image showing him looking frustrated because his biceps aren't growing. To create these visuals, return to the character chat in ChatGPT, the one where Leo was saved. Here, you'll generate your image prompts. For example, in the prompt box, type. Write two image prompts of Leo doing Zotman curl exercise. In both images, the character's position should remain the same and the camera angle should be a front view. The first image shows the initial position and the second shows the final position. Once you've written that, click Generate. ChatGPT will instantly create two detailed image prompts, one for the starting position and one for the finishing position of the exercise. Copy the initial exercise pose prompt from ChatGPT and paste it into the Nano Banana AI prompt box. Then click Run. Within a few seconds, your first image will be ready. Next, do the same for the second image prompt. Copy it from ChatGPT, paste it into Nano Banana AI, and click Run again. Wait a few seconds, and there it is. Your second image is ready. If you compare the two images side by side, you'll notice that our character maintains the same posture and camera angle in both shots. The only difference is the movement between the starting and ending frames of the exercise. These two images work together perfectly to help your viewers clearly understand the exercise motion and the message you're trying to convey in your video. In the same way, I continued generating more images of my character based on the script requirements. For each scene or exercise mentioned in the script, I created the corresponding images using Nano Banana AI. This process helps ensure that every visual perfectly matches the narration and flows naturally with the story or tutorial. By following this simple method, you can easily generate all the necessary images for your video, making it visually engaging and consistent from start to finish. Step number five. Now, if you want to convert your images into videos, we'll be using Pixverse AI for that. Open Pixverse AI and you'll receive 90 free credits when you sign up. At the bottom of the interface, you'll see a prompt box with several options. Click on the image icon, then upload the image you want to convert into a video. After uploading, describe the scene you'd like to create and click Generate. Within a few seconds, Pixverse AI will process your prompt and transform your image into a smooth, dynamic video. You can now see that our first image has been successfully converted into a video. Next, upload your second image and repeat the same steps. Describe the scene, click Generate, and wait a few seconds. And there it is. Your second image is now turned into a video. Repeat this same process for all the other images you want to convert. In just a few minutes, you'll have a full set of animated clips ready to be used in your video project. Step number six. Open CapCut and import every asset you generated, all images, 
video clips, and the MP3 voiceover you exported from DubDub, plus the original script file if you want captions. Drag the voiceover onto the timeline first, then add your background music and lower its volume so the voiceover remains clearly audible. Next, place your background image, then add your character images and clips above it, aligning each one to match the narration line by line. Remove the green background from every image slash clip using CapCut's background removal or chroma key tools. For each exercise sequence, keep the camera framing and character position consistent between the start and end images. Place them in sequence and use subtle keyframed motion, position slash scale, to create natural movement, slight zooms, small vertical shifts, and easing makes static images feel alive. Finally, do a full review watching full screen, fix any audio level issues or color mismatches, save the project, then export in 4K. Then your video is ready to upload. You've been doing curls every workout, but your biceps still look the same? Let's fix that. Your biceps didn't stop growing because you're lazy. They stopped because you're doing the same thing every time. Same weight, same reps, same moves. Your muscles got used to it, so they stopped changing. Change your grip. Try wide grip, normal, and close grip curls. Each one hits a different part of your bicep. Mix them up to keep your muscles guessing and growing. Stop using too much weight. Go lighter, move slow, and squeeze hard at the top of every rep. That's what makes them grow. Add some slow reps at the end. Try going down slowly for three seconds and up for one. It burns, but that burn means it's working. You don't need new supplements. You just need to train smarter. Change the grip, control the weight, and your biceps will start growing again. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more AI content creation tips. See you in the next video.